Questa qua è la cucina del nostro laboratorio. The energy crisis and climate change are pushing the European community to find solutions to reach decarbonization targets by 2030. Illuminazione calda oppure sempre più fredda. The University of Sanio in southern Italy, in collaboration with a consortium of research bodies and private companies, is going towards this direction fast. It's not only a student house, but also a living lab where, for the first time in Europe, a micropower unit of pure hydrogen-based fuel cells has been implemented in an actual construction. After working for years on energy well-being and savings for the environment, we have focused on the issue of CO2 emissions in the environment and worked on the idea of using hydrogen to make this house a completely self-sufficient system. It looks like a normal house. Everything is working as it should and students here have all they need to feel comfortable. But in fact, this is not a regular house, in the sense that this building is powered by hydrogen fuel cells, an actual experiment that is taking us into the future. Right now we are in the HZ Living Lab of the University of Sanio of Benevento, which is... I am able to balance my personal life with the research activity in my study course. In her recent State of the Union speech, the President of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, announced the creation of the European Hydrogen Bank that would invest up to 3 billion euros on hydrogen. Most likely this hydrogen bank will be needed to fill the gap between the production of energy from fossil fuels and the production of electric power through the use of hydrogen, which is a carrier that does not cause pollution. Right now in this house, hydrogen works very efficiently along with other non-fossil power sources like solar, and geothermic energy, but it might also be the future answer to today's pressing issues in terms of energy supply and the preservation of the environment.